Hi everyone, I hope you're all well. Today I'm going to show you how to make some really simple plain coloured cabochons just like these up here. Now I'm sure you've seen it all before and it may look like this is going to be boring but I want you to hang around until the end because I am going to show you how to use these small cabs to make jewellery items like this down here and also how to use them on your larger fused glass pieces. Welcome to Rocket Rose Art. My name is Jeff. I'm going to do things a little different today. Before I get into the video, I am going to ask for your help to uh, subscribe if you like this video and you want to see more and turn on those notifications and uh, hit the like button. So this is going to be a reasonably short video. As I said, it is about making just some simple plain colored cabochons and then how to use them in, uh, in jewellery and uh, maybe your larger fused glass items. But the main reason is just to get you to think about how a simple technique can be very versatile. I don't really think it's necessary for me to show you how to cut the glass into simple squares. If you think I'm wrong, tell me in the comments. But basically all you have to do is cut it up into small squares. Now as you can see here, I've cut these into 10 mils, which is the, I find the best for things like um, simple stud earrings. But of course I do cut it up into a lot of other, sh uh, not shapes, but a lot of other sizes because I do like a variety of different cabs. Now when it comes to laying them up on your shelf, as you can see here, they're just laid up individually on the shelf, ready to be fused. No need to stack them unless you really want a thicker and a larger cabochon. Now these are going to be full fused. The schedule is quite simple, just ramp your kiln up to about 800 degrees and then turn it off and let it cool naturally. There's no need for any segments on the way up because the pieces are very small and they heat up very quickly. Here you have an example of some fully fused cabs. They're nicely polished. Now if you do get a scummy bottom on your cabs, I do have a video that shows you how to get rid of this and I'll have the link in the description below. If you're wondering how they end up round when they start out as squares, it's sort of the same reason that water beads, it's surface tension. So what can you do with these simple cabs? Well, you can use glue and make simple stud earrings or dangling earrings like these. You can also glue them onto clip-on earring settings. Or you can make bracelets by gluing them onto the pads on bracelets. Or something like bobby pins and even rings. If you don't like glue, try prongs or bezel settings. Here are a couple of other jewelry design ideas. We've got some cabochons that I made earlier. Um, some are just simple puddle cabochons, others are stack cabochons. The idea here is to just simply assemble the small cabs on top of the larger cabs and then tack fuse them together. If your existing cabs are too rounded on top to sit the smaller cabs on, just simply grind the top back and make it flat. Another idea is this one here. Just simply take the cabs, the small cabs, and assemble them on your shelf or your thin fire paper, whatever you're using. Put them side by side so that they are touching and then tack fuse it all together. You can see here that this is very versatile because you can come up with all sorts of shapes. So I'll tack fuse these together now and then I'll come back and show you the end result. Well, we do have the pieces out of the kiln and tell me what you think in the comments. These are the cabs that we assembled with just a few dots on top. They've all fused now, come out of the kiln. I'll show you a couple of them. You can see that the dots are slightly raised, have not been fully fused down. Some are a little bit more raised than others. Now, of course, if you are making larger fused glass items such as plates and bowls, 
or even the smaller trinket dishes and, like, and the like, um, you could use the same technique. These are the ones that we assemble just by laying up some cabs side by side into a pattern and um, tack fuse them so that they're all stuck together. They've all turned out quite nice and you can see that with a little bit of imagination you can assemble all sorts of things. This one here, for example, would make a nice pendant. Could be hung like that, I suppose. We got a little man here. That wasn't intentional, but you can see that what you could achieve if you uh, if you wanted to. This would make probably a nice little pendant, or you could make a pair of these for a um, pair of earrings. Again, these make these were intended to be a pair for earrings. If I can pick it up. And uh, they'd come out very nice. They could be made in all sorts of colours. Same with these. Could be made into a pair of earrings. That one, an interesting pendant. Nice earthy colours. So again, you can see that with a bit of imagination you can make a whole range of uh, jewellery and different products just by using the simple technique of laying the cabs close to each other, touching each other and then tack fusing the whole thing together. Well, I hope you've enjoyed that and you don't feel it was a waste of time and it did help you in some way or other. If you want to watch another couple of videos, you'll find a couple of suggested ones up there and down there. Please don't forget to subscribe and um, if you've got any comments or questions ask them below and i will endeavor to answer everything i can and until the next video bye for now